Well, it's still a little bit dark out. Look at the sky. It's all kind of purpley and everything. Well, yeah, it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm on my way to church. But I figured I'd leave a little bit earlier and go and get a coffee from McDonald's. Since I've got one of these, and all the stamps are on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back. Okay. Nothing like free coffee to start off your day. It says right there, caution, hot. They had to do that because they were sued. In the States, I think it was. Somebody, some woman had coffee spill on her lap and it gave her like third degree burns or something so now they have a warning label saying that it's hot I don't think it's that hot but then again it's really cold out so I don't know once again I'm in an awesomely fabulous mood and I'm an hour early for church usually I'm just 45 minutes early I don't know. I guess because I left a bit early to go to McDonald's and I didn't think that, hey, if I leave early, I'll be early. But yeah, it's only 15 minutes earlier than I usually am, so it's not really that bad. But yeah, since I'm in such a great mood, we'll see where today takes me. I must totally not be thinking straight today because I totally forgot Tomorrow is Remembrance Day. It would be the day that I upload this. So I think I should talk about Remembrance Day a little bit, shouldn't I? <sighs> They're doing a Remembrance Day service. But, eh, you know, I thought about getting footage of that. But it's like one-sided. You know, the whole Christian religion aspect of it. <sighs> Remembrance Day should be about much more than that. It should be about the soldiers that we lost during the wars. Uh, it should be about family that, you know, lost their grandfathers or fathers. Um, it should be about children who lost their great-grandfathers. It should be about um, just anybody who's lost any family member because of the war, the senseless violence that they were put into. You know, it shouldn't be about, you know, like what God wants us to remember or what, whatever, you know, it's just remember the fallen soldiers of the wars that have passed. You know, it's all about that. It's all about more, you know, much, much more than what the Salvation Army tells us to remember so yeah a little bit more on that after after this is all done all right so I'm uploading the vlog and uh, I was looking around online of course obviously where else you look around um, <laughs> I was looking up Remembrance Day stuff and I'm going to put the link to the Wikipedia page down in the down First link down below there, uh, just so you guys can check it out. I'm just going to read the f first paragraph, and then you guys can go and read the rest, because there's like a lot of stuff in here, okay? And it's a lot of information, so if you, you really want to educate yourself on what Remembrance Day is and what it means to us Canadians and Commonwealth folk, then uh, you should check it out. Uh, okay, it says Remembrance Day, also known as Poppy Day or Armistice Day, is a memorial day observed in Commonwealth countries since the end of World War I to remember the members of their armed forces who have died in the line of duty. This day or alternative dates are also recognized as special days for war remembrances in many non-Commonwealth countries. Uh, Remembrance Day is observed on 11th of November 
to recall the end of hostilities of World War I on that date in 1918. Hostilities formally ended at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in accordance with the armistice signed by representatives of Germany and the intent between 5.12 and 5.20 that morning. At the 11th hour refers to the passing of the 11th hour or 11 a.m. World War I officially ended with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles on the 28th of June, 1919. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of other stuff. It says uh, obs uh, observance in the Commonwealth, Australia, Barbados, St. Lucia, Canada, India, Kenya, Marutus, New Zealand, South, America, uh, South Africa, United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Bermuda, similar observances outside the Commonwealth, uh, France and Belgium, Germany, Hong Kong, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, and the United States, uh, poppies, uh, there's a lot of other stuff in here. I mean, it explains what poppies are, which is cool. Uh, you know, I've never seen a poppy before, whatever, it's a flower. But anyway, <laughs> It's all going to be down in the link, the link box, the description box down below there. First link. Go and check it out. All right? Yeah. And check everything else out there, too, if you want. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's going to be, that's going to be it about Remembrance Day. Anyway, uh, I'll be back if there's something else that comes up today. I don't know. We'll see. So I was just thinking to myself, which I often do when I'm by myself, that it would be insane if 250,000 million people liked a picture that I posted on Instagram. Does that number even exist? And finally, lest we forget, it's from the refrain of recessional. It's a poem by Rudyard Kipling. Uh, the phrase became popular as a warning about the perils of exaggerated self-pride or self-confidence and the inevitable decline of imperial power. And to apply, to apply it to us today, um, I think it would mean that we need to remember where we come from in other words, remember who and what made us and who we are defending. So with that said, enjoy the rest of your day um, and check out the links down below, especially that first one, and take it easy. I hope you're still here. <laughs> I just got a comment on yesterday's vlog about that big tunnel under the house. I was going to put it on tomorrow's vlog, but I figured I'd tell you right now. Please listen. It says, it's from Hippie Chili HD. Um, it pumps air into your heating system and helps the flame to burn hotter. So that makes sense. Pulls the, you know, it sucks the air out of a cold room, goes through the furnace, more flame, comes out the front room, hotter, where it needs it. So there you go. See ya. Take it easy.